Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. My name is Nick Sassouli, and have you ever wondered, gee, I wonder if this is a gram-negative or a gram-positive bacteria? If you have, there might be something wrong with you. But in any case, I'm going to show you how to find out today, because we're going to learn how to gram stain. So first thing first, I'm going to make sure you stay safe and sterile. So you want to put on your gloves. Hopefully they go on easier than this. And also your lab coat. Button it up to keep your clothes safe from any of the uh, dyes or stains that we're going to be using today. And last but not least, your ultra cool lab goggles. All right, now follow me over here and we'll learn how to start gram staining. So first things first, when you get to your lab, you're going to want to turn on your Beck incinerator. This might take five to 10 minutes to warm up, so do it right away. It kind of acts as a little radiator where the inside is very hot and it also radiates heat around the outside. So what you're going to want to do are take your slides and warm them above the Beck incinerator just for a couple seconds until they get nice and warm. Then you're going to want to take your grease pencil and draw a big circle on them. Pretty thick. This will help you find your bacteria once they're stained in the microscope. All right, so your slides should look like that now. So once you have your circles drawn, we're going to now start our staining by getting our slides ready. We're going to do this in two ways. One by getting bacteria from a plate or getting it directly from liquid cultures. I'm going to start off showing you how to get it from a plate. So first you're going to want to get some water in a little dish. Not too much, just enough to be about halfway or so. Then you're going to want to take your loop and sterilize it in your back incinerator. You're going to want to hold it in there for about 15 seconds. And when you pull it out, the loop should be red hot. All right, and let it cool down a little bit. And then you're going to want to hold it in your dominant hand. I'm left-handed. And you're going to want to hold it like a pencil. So first, dip the loop into your water. And there should, you should see water right inside the loop and you're just going to gently touch that to the top of your slide. You're then going to place the loop back in your Beck incinerator for another 15 seconds. Let it cool. After this, you're going to have your plate upside down. You're going to grab the bottom of the plate and pull it up kind of sideways. And you're just going to want to touch the loop gently right on top, right to the edge of a bacteria, very gently. It's not going to look like there's anything on your loop, but there is. There's a lot of bacteria in one of those cultures. So you're going to take the loop and spread it in your water and spread it all around inside of that red circle you just made. After you're done, Place the loop back in the vaccinerator for another 15 seconds. Sterilize it again. And then place it in the edge of the vaccinerator. And you're done for right now with your plate. Now I'm going to show you how to do your liquid cultures on, place your liquid cultures onto your slides. You're going to take your loop, sterilize it for 15 seconds in your vaccinerator. Allowing the loop to get hot and red. Now you're going to hold it like a pencil again in your dominant hand. And you're going to take the culture tube and hold it with your non-dominant hand. You're then going to use the pinky finger of your dominant hand, place it around the cap, and gently remove the cap from the tube. Take the loop, dip it into the culture, so that you just have um, bacteria right in the center of your loop. It should not be dripping. And make sure you do this over your bench in case it does drip that it's not on the floor. 
recap the tube, and place it back into the holder. Now you're going to take your loop and gently rub it right inside of the red circle that you made on your slide. Take the loop, sterilize it again for 15 seconds, and place it back next to the incinerator. It's been about three to five minutes now, and as you can see, our bacteria look nice and dry. Here's the one from our plate and from our liquid culture. Now I want to show you some things that you shouldn't do. Here's one that has way too much bacteria. You don't want to see clumps. It, doesn't, it shouldn't be cloudy. It didn't even have time to dry, so you don't want that to happen. Another thing you don't want is too little bacteria. You can hardly even see that there's anything on there, and it's even if that there is, it's just right in the center of the slide. So you want to have it a little more spread out, just a little bit more bacteria. So now that our slides have dried, we want to heat fix them. So what you're going to do is take them and hold them over the vaccinerator for about 20 seconds. So during this time, the bacteria are warming up, kind of cozying in next to the slide. You're going to fix them right on there so that they won't come off when you're doing your gram staining and your rinsing cycles. So about 20 seconds, touch the bottom of the slide to your wrist. It should feel a little warm, but it shouldn't singe your skin. That's just not good. So that they're a little warm and heat fixed, we're ready to gram stain. So now that our bacteria are heat fixed onto our slides, we're going to do the actual gram staining. First of all, you're going to want to turn the water on. Um, you might not have these in the lab, but you just want to trickle out of the faucet. So you don't want nothing coming out, that's just not good. You also don't want to turn it on like that. It's too strong for the staining. So you just want to turn it on to a light trickle. Hopefully it won't make a noise like that. Just a little bit, just like that. So it's just trickling out. So first you're going to want to label the white part of your slide with either your initials or your lab bench number, just so you can identify it. You're then going to want to take a paper clip. Instead of tape, your lab manual says to use tape, but we're going to use paper clips instead. They hold on nice, and you can kind of give them a little shake afterwards without it flying off. So put your paper clip on. Then what you're going to do is put it into your first jar. There's little grooves in the side of the jar. So just slide your slide into there. This first jar is crystal violet. This is going to stain your bacteria. Um, it's going to stain all the bacteria, your gram positives and your gram negatives. It's going to get inside um, the cell's outer membranes or the cell wall and just kind of stick there. So thanks to the miracle of video cameras, it's been one minute that it's been staining. So what you're going to want to do is take the paper clip and take it out and let it drain right on the side of the cup just to get any excess stain off. Um, since we're using the pharmacy school's wonderful lab, you don't want to get them messy, so make sure that you get any excess off. And then what you're going to do, do is grab the side and stick it under the water and rinse off both sides of the slide. After you do that, pull the white part and give it a little flick to get some excess water off. Don't dry it though. You just want to flick it a little bit, no towels. You're then going to put your slide with your paper clip into the second cup. So what this second cup is, is Graham's iodine. So this will actually complex the um, crystal violet stain so that it will get stuck in the gram positive bacteria, but it allows to get washed out of the gram negative bacteria. So only the gram positive bacteria will be stained purple. So thanks to some wonderful videography, a minute has lapsed, and now we're going to remove our slide from the gram's iodine. And again, let it drain off. Then hold it and rinse it off under the water. Give it a little shake, dry it off, don't dab it or wipe it. Next you're going to grab the decolorizer, which is some alcohol. 
And what you're going to want to do with this is to dribble it over the slide for 5 to 10 seconds to decolorize um, the grand negative bacteria. So you're going to want to find which side of your slide is the side of the bacteria. Just gently drizzle this over for a couple seconds. You should see a light flush of purple come off of your slide and then immediately rinse it off under the water. From there, after you shook it off a little bit, you're now going to put it into the fourth um, cup, which has saffronin. What the saffronin is going to do is it actually will color everything but since your gram positive bacteria are already stained purple, the purple will overwhelm the pink in the microscope. So what will stain pink, what you'll see is stained as pink are the gram negative bacteria. So again, thanks to some videography, 45 seconds have passed this time, not 60. So after 45 seconds, you're going to take your slide out of the saffronin let it drain, and then again rinse it off under the water. A little shake, and at this point you'll be able to pat the slide dry with a paper towel. Just going to take this, lay your slide down, take your paper clip out, and just pat it dry. After it's fully, let it air dry fully. Don't rub it, just pat. So after it's air dry fully, you'll then be able to take your slide to the microscope and look to see whether your bacteria has stained for gram positive or gram negative.